Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit the Super Typhoon, an outstanding paper on cosmology, wiggles in a planetary disk, and Mars water loss processes. But we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star where the last day was very quiet. Solar flaring has dropped out for the most part. Sunspots facing Earth are nowhere near as active as the sunspots on the far side of the sun, which have erupted twice in a big way in the last week. There are no solar wind enhancements currently on their way to Earth either. We will keep watching the sunspots and will be keeping an especially close eye open next week to see if some of the bigger far side sunspots turn into view. Folks, that super typhoon we showed yesterday is making impact. Almost half a million people are evacuating from the area. High winds, waves, and flooding are the initial reports coming in. Hearts are with them. Let's go next to the grandest scales where this team has determined that quantum potential energy and macroscopic particle effects can replace dark matter and dark energy, including galactic rotation curves and the redshift, which is universe expansion, not needed here. This falls into the category of normal matter cosmology and we support all such deviations from the dark paradigm. Up next, we are coming down to a planetary system beginning to come together. This young star and debris disk is readying to collapse into planets, and astronomers here are detecting the details within the disk, showing how clumps of material are impacting the velocity profile of the gas in the disk, and that causes a wiggle to show up in the dynamic tracking of material in motion. This was predicted by supercomputer models, and now seen for the first time here. Folks, yesterday we discussed how solar storms cause extreme cloud plume activity on Mars. Today we're seeing that that same activity likely plays the key role in water vapor loss at the red planet. The type of high altitude push we saw in yesterday's story is the type of thing Hubble scientists are describing here in terms of observing water loss from the top of the Martian sky. Folks, I will be out at the ranch today and here's the schedule for this and next month. Tons of more information can be found at ObserverRanch.com and from the conversations you can have with like-minded observers to the Observer Library to kids' activities to in-depth sessions when I'm on the site, you won't regret your visit. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.